Yeah. We ended up being one of those people. Didn't make the crosswalk. We didn't time it right. We ended up out in the street blocking people. just I'm finally getting over a horrible sickness I was sick for at least the last three days uh, we just got back from Tahoe we were out there for like four days just getting crazy and the altitude and the partying and getting back to sea level is like my brain is still trying to like declimatize or whatever but stuffy I'm not quite as it, yeah, 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 you know, not quite myself. I'm like a 60% version right now. Let me tell you something. What's really difficult is that basically I'm around I'm around like episode 90 as far as like shooting wise. Right now I'm editing episode 16 and the problem with these first like 40 episodes that I shot I still didn't really know what I was doing. So I would just shoot, 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 shoot tons of footage so I'm sitting here going through like, you know, hours of footage, um, not realizing now that I really only need about six to seven minutes uh, of good storyline to make an episode. So I've learned my lesson, I found my flow, but again too, is having to go back and, and, and fix what I wasn't doing right and then trying to put comprehensive episodes together. Very, very difficult. It's taking me about three days per episode now, uh, so I really need to crank that down to one day. Today's episode is about this amazing day I spent with Laureen at Santa Monica Beach, California. Santa Monica is beautiful, but very, very touristy. For anyone coming out to LA, yes, you should experience Venice. You should experience Santa Monica. If you want the touristy thing, that's where you go. Now, if you want to go to a cool beach, I would hit up Manhattan Beach, Redondo, Zuma, El Matador, any beaches north and south of Venice and Santa Monica. You're gonna find more local beaches, better surf spots, obviously. Venice is, is kind of like Hollywood on the beach, so it's a little dirty. I, I highly suggest not walking around the sand without shoes on. Uh, you'll realize why after you go there, and, and I would avoid swimming in the water in those areas too. I've, I've gone swimming and gotten very sick afterwards. And, uh, and I apologize for the audio. Uh, the audio setting was just maxed out for some reason. So the audio is all crazy in a lot of the sequences. So that's why you don't see me uh, using a lot of f footage where uh, I'm talking in the camera because it was just uh, a little, uh, the, the audio is just, it's annoying, it's annoying. I'm gonna cut this down really, really simple. Um, no crazy introductions, no crazy this and that, hoo-ha, hoorah, mm-mm-mm, any of that stuff. We're just gonna jump right into it. The day Lorene needs proper shoes for production walking days, she has on what's essentially the short version of equestrian boots. <laughs> so there's not gonna be much horseback riding today, but comfortability equals progress and progress equals, equals success, success. <laughs> it's easy to get lost in this city oh you're good Chad. our first stop is ross i'm Rest gonna relax. give her a time limit of 10 minutes Impossible. to find a pair of shoes and get through that line uh, so that we're not wasting any time because of preparation equals progress progress should we tell them that we might go to this hip-hop music video thing because they need a drone there's about a five percent chance we might go to this hip-hop music video thing <laughs> because they need a drone so uh it seems very serendipitous 
serendipitous, if you ask me. Ross, name brand prices for half the cost. Ross is popping on Saturday. Popping. We have an extremely long line. This is not, not what I was expecting. So we are parked in a future residence's office area. We illegally parked in the future residence spot. Get out of ice frame as fast as I'm, I'm waiting for the, excuse me. So I already had eight cups of coffee today, but I figured why not one more? <laughs> things for to only sell them for a buck. Just a buck. That's four dollars a side, one dollar here with your boy. But what's yeah. your markup? How much you getting? Oh I how much I get a day? I get like at least $120 a day That's what I'm selling saying. this water right here. Water, so you man. know what I'm not gonna let no one come because I'm the only baller here. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Alright bro. Oh. There it is. There it is. I am impressed with this gorilla pod. It's a little iffy. The legs could be just a little bit longer, but... Uh Popo post up there. With binoculars. Uh -oh. uh, lemon shrimp, coconut shrimp, pepper shrimp, shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp salad. <laughs>
guy is awesome. And he's menacing looking too. Here we go. Here it comes. Yup, yup, there they go. Move your ass! <laughs> I like it. From me. Oh, your business card. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay. I thankfully, got my wallet. Wow. This would have yeah. this would have been the third time I lost my wallet this year. Wow. It would have been it would have been yeah. insane. Yeah, it was uh, buried in the sand. Oh, yeah, we found that gosh. like during the photo shoot, the girls yeah. found it. Oh my god. So gosh. we're so happy Thanks that so you much. came back.